On the island of Culebra, due east of Puerto Rico, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Temporary Emergency Power Team is tapping into a new way to bring electricity to the people. We are currently installing the pilot mini grid, which could potentially power the entire island. We are hooking up two massive generators to their substation that powers the whole island. And if this works, it could potentially turn into a thing we do across all of Puerto Rico. After two months of power work, specifically ensuring the power grid is intact and able to handle high loads of electricity, the microgrid idea is coming to fruition. This concept could potentially replenish power to the island of Culebra, which under normal circumstances receives its transmissions through the island of Vieques and ultimately Puerto Rico. Well, the grid was uh, already established prior to the storm, and since the uh, storm went through, lots of it was damaged. So it took some time to go through it, make repairs, uh, ensure that it's safe to use. Originally, this uh, island was fed from the Aikis, which is fed from Puerto Rico. So uh, that's the giant grid. Since it's uh, not distributing over here anymore, the microgrid is just a smaller version of the grid. And power is not the only benefit a microgrid can offer. Typically, the Army Corps only installs generators at facility-specific areas. But with the magnitude of this mission, we're finding it more feasible to use these mini-grids to power larger areas to eliminate the need to have multiple generators throughout an area. With the hundreds of generators, it becomes very, very difficult to maintain them, and they're not they're not really sustainable to be run 24-7 for months at a time. These generators that you see around me are large, they're easier to maintain if you will, and the size of them we only have to run one at a time. So as one needs a maintenance requirement we can just simply turn the other one on and it'll save the life of the generator in the long run. And with the microgrid's ability to bring electricity to every home connected to the existing power grid, the more than 2,000 people of Culebra will have power 24 hours a day for the first time since Hurricane Maria struck. Yes, so right now they are using a rental generator that Culebra has rented on their own, and it is only capable of running from 6 p.m. till 6.30 a.m. each day. And with our mini grid, we can power the island 24-7. So if it is successful here on the island, which we are hoping it will be, um, it could potentially lead to several more locations on the island of Puerto Rico itself. For the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, I'm Patrick Locke. Estamos aquí.